Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and uh, here's the um, the real answer to a lot of fake info I've seen people share uh, here in the comments and also on different blogs uh, concerning what's coming up with 24H2. And uh, one of the things that Microsoft had mentioned is that uh, some of the apps that customize the user interface will be broken in 24H2. Of course, a lot of people are like, well, you know, they intentionally break it. They're not. They have made changes, which they are allowed to, and it's fine. And there's nothing new here. In the past, there has to be some adjustments for third-party UI changers like Start11 and so on to adapt and work with some of the modifications that Microsoft did. And there's nothing in there that Microsoft is intentionally doing it. It's they are changing code. It sometimes breaks a third-party software. So that, that's the first thing. It's the way that changes are happening. And by the way, too many people are saying, well, it's done. They don't want us to change anything anymore. None of the software will work. I'm sorry, Start11 still works because it doesn't work in the same way as the other ones that break. So stop thinking that nothing will work. The other ones will find a way to fix it and have it working again. That's the first thing that I want to say here. A lot of people are also saying, well, all the things that, you know, all the software, third-party software, CCleaner and so on, that are used to remove the uh, core apps, for example, because some people use these uh, software for that purpose, that they remove Microsoft Edge, for example, or Copilot completely, because the software can do it. Uh, once again, a lot of fake info is like, us oh, starting 24H2, these are not going to work anymore. They will. Nothing changes on that either. There's too much false information going on right now about 24H2. 24H2, the only thing that broke the UI software like um, that, are, that are used, except Start11, all the other ones that people use, and Microsoft has mentioned uh, several, uh, is, is the fact that there's a code change within the UI because they're changing things around. They're changing the start menu look. They're changing a lot of little things. Now, when you change that, it means any other software that rely on that code to change it might be broken. It's the way it is. It always been. Uh, it's been like that in Windows XP. Some were using you know software as early as the first year of Windows XP to have the feel and look of Windows 98. And Windows 7, people wanted to have the feel of Windows XP. They had, you know, software to do that. And what happened is that there were, over time, moments when the software needed to be updated because a change that Microsoft did would break it. It's the way it is. It's not uh, an intentional thing. Um, once again, you know, Microsoft doesn't care. If you want to use third-party software uh, and they didn't want to do it, they would have other ways to block completely all of that. They don't. And Windows is an, an operating system that lets you tweak and do a lot of things. So, uh, no, Microsoft is not blocking anybody. It's just that there will be adjustments to be done to the software that changed the UI. And no, there will not be any uh, blocking of third-party apps that, uh, like CCleaner that can remove some of the core apps. So this is the straight up, uh, not the whatever is being um, you know set out there that people are just, you know, I think they're just amplifying that because people, a lot of people, uh, haters of Windows 11 particularly, are trying to give it a more negative look than it is already. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.